Here comes the highly anticipated camera comparison between the Honor Magic 5 Pro against the Huawei P60 Pro. Let's talk about the specs. We have a triple 50 megapixel setup on the Magic 5 Pro with the highlight, the almost one inch sized sensor. On the Huawei P60 Pro, we have a very large one over 1.5 four inch sized sensor, main camera sensor, Sony IMX 800, uh, 48 megapixel, as well as 48 megapixel for the telezoom lens and 13 megapixel for the ultra wide angle. And on the front, we have also 13 megapixels on Huawei and Honor has 12 megapixels. And I think we start off with the front facing camera. Start off with the Honor Magic 5 Pro's front facing camera, 4K 30 frames per second, 0.7 times magnification, very wide angle of view. I can go to 0.8 times, which looks a little bit cropped in, is a bit more stable, I think. And if I want to go even further, I can go to one times which looks like this. And yeah, what do you think about this one here? The sun is very harsh, it's very hot, 30 degrees outside roughly. So also kind of an overheating test here. 4K 30 without any issues. And if I turn towards the sun now in the background, you can see that we have nice HDR still going on. So the sky is not overblown there, which is quite nice. So what do you think about the front facing camera here on the Honor Magic 5 Pro? And now I'm recording with the Huawei P60 Pro's front-facing camera, 0.8 times magnification, 4K 30 as well. And yeah, as you can see here, external microphone as well. We can go to white, which is, I think, also roughly 0.7 times. It just doesn't stay 0.7 times here. Uh, stabilization should work fine as well here. 0.8 times is the default, as you saw before. And I can also go to one times if I want to. So this is how it looks like at one time. So what do you think about the quality here? Let's turn a bit to the sun. You can see HDR is also working nice. You see some clouds there as well, which is, I think, quite okay. And let's go to 0.8 times again. So what do you think about the front facing camera here on the Huawei P60 Pro? So now we are looking at the highlight of the Honor Magic 5 Pro, the almost one inch type sensor that gets nice background blur, has good HDR, even if I go now to the sun and you see the sun in the background, very harsh sun. Uh, and yeah, 4K 30, I can also record 4K 60 on all lenses now, thanks to the latest update that allows you to also record 4K 60 on the ultra wide angle, which is like a nice addition. And I think it is superior here in comparison to the Huawei, where you can only record with the main and telezoom lens at 4K 60 frames per second. Talking about this, let's go and record at the ultra wide angle. I can simply press one button here and it automatically zooms out. We are now at the ultra wide angle. What do you think about this one here? Perfect for vlogging, I would say, if you want to show your environment, uh, which might be very nice here in the sunny, uh, cool weather. And of course, I want to check out a little bit the zoom test. So let me zoom on this scenery that I see there. You can see some people sitting there as well. And yeah, let's zoom in. We can switch immediately to four times zoom here, which looks like this. And then it's going to 10 times zoom as well as a button. And I think that's the maximum. Yeah, this is 10 times zoom, house stabilization, house quality. Just tell me in the comments. So now I'm recording with the Huawei P60 Pro also at 10 times. I think it can, I can go a little bit more. Can I? Yeah, I can go even more like 15 times is the max here on this one, which looks like this. So what do you think about this one here? And this again, this is 10 times zoom here. And yeah, what do you think about stability and quality here? Is it zoom out to the one time lens. I have not, I don't have buttons here, I just have the slider. This is now one times and this is how one time lens looks like. It has the variable aperture and by default most of the time in this very bright conditions it's switching to the f2 aperture simply because it gets uh, you a little bit more of sharpness otherwise if you're at 1.4 then you might see some focus hunting because it's like uh, focusing either on my nose or my eyes because the focus is so shallow there with this uh, relatively large sensor and this large aperture now i'm recording with the huawei p60 pro and its largest aperture f1.4 that gives you a nice creamy background blur but also using a very high shutter speed because it's otherwise capturing too much light and i would be completely overexposed and this has some disadvantages i think the stabilization is not working as good as it should so this is one of the reasons why huawei is also 
keeping by default at f2 for the video in such very bright conditions and yeah this one gives you the best background blur but how is the video quality here in comparison to the uh, previous video and also the magic 5 pros video what do you think about this one here 4k 30 of course i cannot record 4k 60 on the ultra wide angle so i have to stick to 4k 30 and by the way i'm working with 4k 30 anyway so let's go and uh, switch to the ultra wide angle and uh, there we go there you go that's the ultra wide angle now this is the ultra wide angle also i think ideal for vlogging we can also have like uh, autofocus here on this one so i can show something close up just like the magic 5 pro relatively close up here i think uh, to the lens and it should still be able to focus which is quite nice mm, otherwise what do you think about this in terms of hdr quality and so on which one is yeah superior in terms of video the p60 pro or the magic 5 pro Here's now a dual view video on the Huawei P60 Pro so I can see the rear and you can see the front facing camera and I can switch of course zoom in even up to five times on the rear which is quite interesting and if I want to I could even switch the uh, camera to the wide angle it looks like this and then you can probably see my finger as well so what do you think about this one here by the way I'm using the internal microphones on the Huawei P60 Pro so what do you think about them? And now I'm using the multi-video mode, which is basically the same that Huawei was using now on the Magic 5 Pro. And it's also using the internal mics here. How stabilization can also zoom in two times. If I want to, I can even zoom in five times. I think the stabilization here on the rear is much, much better than on Huawei, which yeah, failed to stabilize the rear properly and the front-facing camera, which is much better here on the Magic 5 Pro. So what do you think about this kind of uh, video here? Also with the internal mics of the Magic 5 Pro. Here the photos on the left always the Magic 5 Pro, on the right always the P60 Pro. What you can see here on first glance, we have much more punchy colors, sharpness level in the details, in the middle roughly the same. Greener greens here, a little bit less pronounced greens here, and I think the P60 Pro does better job because we have 30 degrees here in the sun for a few days already, and yeah, this was not so green anymore. It was a bit yeah more towards yellowish and towards like uh, bit dry and not so punchy green. In terms of sharpness, we can see the P60 Pro has a bit more sharpness, both using artificial sharpening for sure, but the P60 Pro's algorithm is a little bit better there than the Magic 5 Pro. So you can see a little bit more details there. And uh, this is definitely something that you can see there. Zoom lenses, very interesting, both feature three and a half times zoom. You can see together again, another kind of color processing, much bluer kind of exposure on the Magic 5 Pro, much warmer kind of exposure on the P60 Pro with a little bit of struggling in terms of um, HDR here. We can see the Magic 5 Pro is doing a better job, but look at the shadows here. They look blue for some reason on the Magic 5 Pro, which is not well, how it looked like in reality. Otherwise, detail levels almost the same, maybe slightly better on the P60 Pro. When we go to 10 times zoom, we can see that the shadows got eliminated on the P60 Pro, probably because it detected a face where the Magic 5 Pro keeps its high contrast and shadows with the bluish kind of color tone, which is like a bit weird. And we can see that it's a bit softer on the P60 Pro, a bit more processed looking on the Magic 5 Pro for sure. I prefer the P60 Pro's look here a bit better because you can see all the details that you have to see and it looks a bit more natural, like, like a zoomed in with a DSLM with a bad or not so good lens. When we zoom in even further 30 times zoom the same kind of behavior a heavy process on both but even noise on the p60 pro uh, which one do you prefer and the same goes for 100 times zoom just forget about it uh, ultra wide angle a bit of reverse in terms of colors more punchy colors on the p60 pro like i said the green grass didn't look like this and the sky also not like this a bit more warmer like on the magic 5 pro the Magic 5 Pro's detail level here in the green grass is much worse than the P60 Pro's. The P60 Pro has better uh, side edge uh, sharpening as well, as you can see here. And not only towards this edge, but also this edge, as you can see here. Definitely the ultra wide angle is for sure a win for the P60 Pro, which is just simply sharper. Now to the next photos where I want to compare the uh, processing when zooming in. This is three and a half times zoom. Just forget about the color difference here. We have a bit brighter red here on the Magic 5 Pro and a bit darker red here on the P60 Pro. Both do heavily editing to get the text sharp here. But just notice the text, it's much clearer on the P60 Pro. 
and a little bit less clearer and a bit weird looking sometimes on the Magic 5 Pro. And look at this text here on the white background. First of all, it's a lot more white on the P60 Pro and less white on the Magic 5 Pro. But look at the difference here and there, the, the difference in terms of sharpness and the text quality itself. It's already uh, quite a difference. But when you look at the images, it's much more than this. You can see heavily sharpening up on the P60 Pro to get the details there, but you can see the faces of the people. At least you can uh, at least see a little bit of the faces there, where on the Magic 5 Pro it's just a um, yeah, grayish blob. There are no faces at all to see there. So here I like the processing on the P60 Pro a little bit better, and I think that this heavily sharpening things up here um, on both is reversed when you go to 10 times zoom because there the P60 Pro doesn't sharpen so up anymore and the Magic 5 Pro still sharpens up so it looks a bit artificial here but it's quite soft on the P60 Pro so it doesn't sharpening up so much more but it helps with pictures again. Look at this picture, like this photo here, historical photo. Look at the faces of those people. Look, especially this particular guy here. You cannot see anything here on the Magic 5 Pro. It looks like so much smudged and edited, where on the P60 Pro you can see his mustache, you can see that he has like this helmet on, and some stripes on the side here, where this is one blob here on the Magic 5 Pro. So the processing on the P60 Pro still is superior, even though you have like some issues here for sure that the Magic 5 Pro tries with its algorithm to smooth it out, but the P60 Pro at 10 times zoom keeps it more real. So very interesting difference in processing. Then color processing again, this is another thing where the Magic 5 Pro more often fails than the P60 Pro, like this is a bit too punchy, too bright, but the P60 Pro captured the colors here right, especially on the green grass, because it was like really this dry, kind of grass and not this like yellowish uh, punchy green grass that we see there very interesting higher contrast on the P on the magic 5 pro a little less details here uh, more details better algorithm again on the p60 pro for sure otherwise when we take a look at super macro cam actually this is not super macro cam this is the telezoom that i used for macro the p60 pro has a true macro the magic 5 pro a solar la macro not really a macro but 15 centimeters i think is the close focusing distance on the magic 5 pro and 10 centimeters on the p60 pro so very fantastic photo on the magic 5 pro very close but the p60 pro is blowing it away with its detail level even though like you can see yeah it is a bit more smudged out here the yellow where here as well but it's just simply mind-blowing and uh, we will take a look at the ultra wide angle macros as well here both feature the possibility to zoom in um, to go close to something with the ultra wide angle and focus on something the magic 5 pro for some reason was still saying that i'm in focus but clearly yeah maybe a little bit there the p60 pro uh, i have to go a bit further away and but it nailed a little bit more the, the focus, even though I think the detail levels here, because I'm a bit closer up on the Magic 5 Pro is a bit better, but when you go to the to the edges here, you can see it's quite soft, where the Magic uh, uh, P60 Pro is still sharp. So there's a big difference here. Otherwise, uh, forget about this, skip to the uh, shutter speed, both able in bright conditions to get this shot here, and the Magic 5 Pro without action mode, and the P60 Pro without its snapshot mode. Um, ultra wide angle, um, macro mode, if you choose the super macro mode in the more options is the ultra wide angle that it utilizes here. Nice shot, very good macro camera for the ultra wide angle, but the P60 Pro is blowing this out of the water with its tele macro cam and so much details. You can see even the little pole in here on, uh, on the front of the flower. It's just simply amazing a shot on the P60 Pro for sure. Otherwise, uh, the ultra wide angle, what we can see here, overblown highlights for sure on uh, the Magic 5 Pro, a bit more aggressive sharpening, a bit softer on the P60 Pro. And uh, here you can see also the overblown highlight and uh, the other building I didn't see even here on uh, the Magic 5 Pro and it's there on the P60 Pro as you can see. Yeah, otherwise, sharpness and so on a bit better on the P60 Pro, the color level as well better on the P60 Pro, not so warm as on the Magic 5 Pro, it's overdoing it a little bit with the colors. Uh, front facing portrait shot, you have to activate the bokeh mode on the P60 Pro via filter at one time zoom options, the Magic 5 Pro doesn't offer any zoom options when you're in portrait mode, so it's using the one time zoom only. Also better processing on the P60 Pro, I think they have almost the same kind of lens here, 
but you can see yeah both struggle with the portrait and bokeh mode with my hair there a more aggressive sharpening on the magic 5 pro my natural looking on the p60 pro for sure and yeah the p60 pro wins here and uh, also on the back cameras i think they were quite close and here uh, with the two times zoom i think the magic 5 pro's better sensor is giving it a bit more sharpness there but you can see here the gradual fall off of sharpening or sharpness and to the bokeh on the p60 pro uh, also shows that it has slightly better algorithm again also for the bokeh where here it's still a bit sharp a bit different on the magic 5 pro which one do you prefer in this one um, ultra low light dim lit situation actually the magic 5 pro for some reason failed here and the p60 pro won but uh, just let's go to the ultra low light and here you can see the p60 pro much brighter image but also more orangey reddish kind of image and when you go to the detail levels you can see that the pro good processing of the p60 pro brightening things up cannot win and even f1.4 cannot win against the more details on the magic 5 pro the magic 5 pro is darker for sure but all the details are smudged out on the p60 pro so it looks like a pleasant image in a way but it's lacking details that the magic 5 pro still has uh, zoom lens here i think the p60 pro with its larger aperture is doing a better um, job here not so much processed looking as on the magic 5 pro for sure and when you take a look at the filter here of this uh, T filter set you can see the filter here here it's just a blob on the magic 5 pro so yeah the p60 pro has a better zoom lens in low light situations when we take a look at the uh, high pixel megapixel count mode you can see much more noise on the p60 pro looks as a night and day difference but the magic 5 pro looks like processed already so it doesn't have an extra ai mode i think it's using ai mode by default for creating this high res shots where the p60 pro doesn't so you get the ultimate raw but you can also use the high mode uh, with ai and there you can see much big difference much more details on the p60 pro here you can see the grip has some texture where here is everything smoothened out which is quite interesting and here also very heavily edited and yeah i think both heavily edited but look at the difference of the processing so i think the p60 pro's processing is just far superior here uh, to the magic 5 pros look at the uh, thermometer thermometer here and the temperature lines uh, you can clearly see each one of them here it's like hard to distinguish them so a good job p60 pro huawei is i think here the winner in terms of processing for sure the main sensor on the magic 5 pro is i think better i hope that honor can improve the processing a little bit there colors i liked a bit better on the p60 pro as well it was back and forth sometimes between them but uh, more consistent the p60 pro so overall the winner here in terms of photography the p60 pro in my opinion what do you think write it down in the comment section so i'm super excited to hear from you what do you think about the magic 5 pro versus the p60 pro from huawei very interesting comparison i think that the sensors on the magic 5 pro especially the main sensor is better than the p60 pros p60 pros however has a better very compelling processing that rescues it against the magic 5 pro so the magic 5 pro still needs a little bit of software updates and tweaks here and there especially also with the tele lens because the tele lens the zoom lens on the p60 pro is on another level here completely it is more natural when it comes to 10 times zoom even if it loses against the p50 pro here it is more natural and better than the three and a half times zoom at 10 times on the on a magic 5 pro at three and a half times zoom they're roughly the same and i like the magic 5 pro's color rendering and a little bit better than on the uh, p60 pro but what do you think write it down in the comment section the ultra wide angle again a win for the p60 pro because it's just sharper and the better processing helps there also i think the lens is just a bit better than on the magic 5 pro that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye